Welcome back to another Project Rebirth review. Today we're going to take a look at another Batman Missions figure. This one perhaps the original, or certainly one of the early ones, the Batman figure himself. Here's a look at the front of the box. And if that accessory looks familiar, it should for a reason. It's one that Mattel has used many times before. For example, here's the shield with a Justice League Batman figure. And here's a look at the back of the box. The mission's entitled, Not a Laughing Ride. And it shows Batman in battle with the Joker, with Robin assisting. The Joker is shooting at Batman, and Batman is deflecting the beam being shot by the Joker with his shield. All right, let's get this Batman figure out of the box. All right, so here's the Batman figure out of the box, along with his companion shield. To attach the shield, you put the, the bigger part, the top of the shield, at the close of the top of the forearm, and it just snaps in place. Let's take a 360 look at the Batman Missions Batman figure. Alright, let's take a look at articulation. I should note that um, for this particular figure, the head seems extremely stiff and hard to move. It can move, uh, it looked down, but it kind of snaps, it's not a natural movement. And then, I don't know if you hear that click, but it, it can move back in place. But it's very difficult to move from side to side. Normally, it can go 360, but it's not with ease, so I'm not sure. I've had other Batman mission figures with no issues. This one seems a little bit off. Arms can extend to less than 90 degrees because of the shoulder pads. Bend at the elbows to 90 degrees. Rotate at the wrist and flex inward slightly, just slightly, at the wrist. Figure can turn all the way around at the waist. There is no ab crunch. The torso is a solid piece. Legs can extend to approximately 90 degrees and bend to approximately 90 degrees. And the, uh, the foot and the boot is one solid piece with no further articulation. Let's compare this Batman Missions Batman with some other Batman Missions figures. All right, this is a really fun shot for me. This is all the Batman Mission figures that I own to date. On the far left is the Prison Breakout Batman. To the right of that, is the Batman figure we're reviewing today. To the center is the Stealth Glider Batman. Further to the right is the Night Jumper Batman. And then finally, Electro Power Batman. Here's Batman with the Prison Breakout Robin. Here's Batman with the Batman Missions Robin. They look like they're late for dinner at medieval times and ready to do some jousting. With Nightwing, with the Batman Missions Riddler with the Batman Missions Mr. Freeze, with the Batman Missions Bane, with the Batman Missions Two-Face, and here's Batman and Robin squaring off against the Joker and Harley Quinn. All right, so here's my final thoughts with regard to the Batman Missions Batman figure. 
First of all, with regard to the look of the figure, it's clear that this figure takes its cues from the Rebirth version of Batman currently in the comics. It's very nice looking. It would have been nice if they'd put some, um, some black wash or at least some different tone variation in the belt. Um, if you've seen Cosplay Chris's video, he took this basic figure and really turned it into an absolute masterpiece by doing some, some black wash and other applications. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be able to do anything that good, but I do believe I'm going to attempt to to do some black washing and uh, attempt to change the look of this figure. And with regard to the accessory, I have to admit that uh, the shield has been more fun than I thought it, it would be, and I think that certainly a child would enjoy playing with that shield. All in all, this is a great looking basic Batman figure, and for 10 bucks you can't lose. So should you buy this figure? Absolutely, hell yes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Project Rebirth review. Is all you can get Wandering stars